when we leave here, it's 30 minutes to Lone Star or Nugget. We have three specific areas that we know source the major placer creeks. Klondike Gold Corp is a client and sponsor of PinnacleDigest.com, whose parent company owns shares and warrants of Klondike Gold Corp. Please read the full disclosure at the end of this video. Gold has broken out to more than a five-year high, and the Fed is signaling a potential rate cut. Yes, central banks around the world are turning dovish again. And finally, after many years, junior miners are catching a bid. That's why I'm standing in the Yukon, in the heart of Dawson City. Klondike Gold is actively exploring in the hills above the famous Bonanza and El Dorado Creeks. The company believes that the placer gold found within these creeks came from much larger local sources. Peter, your search for the Klondike placer gold continues. It's 2019. What has changed in the data recently? We've completed some detailed structural mapping. Yeah. And that's led us to the idea that there's a new fault system in here that controls the gold and has led us in new directions in terms of what kind of gold we can be exploring for. Right. So when you look at your targets this year for 2019, where's the main focus? Where's the budget going? Well, again, following on from that structural information, we have been spending mostly on disseminated gold targets. That's kind of where the, you know, the, the constant money is. Mm -hmm. But now we're finding high-grade gold, and we think there's tonnage potential in that high-grade. So we're, we're spending it on Nugget, which is a high-grade target. Okay, so Nugget is, is the high-grade quartz veins. Yep. And you spoke about that recently on Jay Taylor's show, talking about the grade and the potential for tonnage there. Is that really what a lot of the season is about? It's becoming so. We, we started drilling Nugget with the intention of splitting the budget in half and going to the disseminated mineralization afterwards. Mm -hmm. We're having some decent success visually drilling the quartz veins, so we're going to just keep on doing that until it stops looking really good. Yeah. And when you look at your different targets from Lone Star um, to Nugget and El Dorado, like just explain the differences again so we really understand. Uh, Lone Star is disseminated mineralization uh, over really broad widths at surface. So the last hole we drilled in it was a gram over 91 meters. Mm -hmm. And then Nugget and Gay Gulch are quartz vein high grade cloddy. Actually, here's an example of it right there, where, where you get clots and nuggets of gold in the quartz veins. This is an outcrop and you yeah. found basically an exposed nugget in the rock there. Yeah, nuggety gold is difficult to deal with in terms of predictable results. Right. Again, it's easier to drill disseminated gold because every hole hits yeah. with this stuff. One and two or three miss, mm -hmm. even though you're in the right quartz vein package. Are there some examples of nugget deposits? Uh, our neighbor is Pogo, right. and the Pogo mine is eight million ounces of gold contained in a half ounce grade. What is that in grams per ton? 15 grams per ton. Um, and that's being mined by an Australian company now. Uh, anyway, that's only, that's like 100, 150 kilometers just over the border into Alaska. And actually the other, our other comparable for the disseminated is, is coffee, the coffee deposit that Kamenak sold to Gold Corp. Right. The property itself, because it has, the, these, these styles of mineralization are end members. Yeah. There's one of the quartz veins and the disseminated are linked. Mm -hmm. To have both on the same property and some, you know, bulk tonnage, low grade, but potentially profitable mineralization at surface for the disseminated, that's excellent. And that will let us go and play and discover quartz vein pockets that have gold, high grade gold in them, I think. And the combination of the two is unique as far as I know. With regard to both mm -hmm. disseminated and the quartz vein, that's what we've identified structurally and all that scientific work we've done is showing that there are fairways through the entire district. How long are they, like kilometers? Right within Bonanza, El Dorado Creek, each one of these targets, or fairways, is five to six kilometers long. We have three of them. We've only begun drilling on fractions of each of them. 
And then further along in the, in the district, we know these fairways continue, or at least there are other fairways, whatever, but they're also kilometer, tens of kilometers long, in potential anyway. The objective remains the same, to be able to explore and discover the sources of the 20 million ounces of gold that have been mined from the placers historically. We're discovering sources for those placers now. We have three specific areas that we know source the major placer creeks. led here by this 1900 turn of the century hole in the ground. Yeah. So back a hundred odd years ago, they excavated here and appreciate that they never did that unless they made money. They went to a lot of effort yeah. to dig a hole in the ground on this quartz chain. When are prospective investors going to know more? As you see here from the pink flags, we have it sampled. We're waiting for assays. Um, we already have if you look off to the left, there's a couple of drill sites proposed, so we have five to seven of them. Uh, we have found visible gold. We, we know there's gold in these veins. Right. So the drill provisionally is coming within two weeks. Okay. So it's late June now, you're hopefully going to be drilling by early to mid-July? Yep. Assays by mid-late August, I, I would think. So Peter, I see all your geologists walking around with these tablets. How are they making exploration more efficient for you guys? The genesis for this idea came last year when we had these very high-priced consultants do structural mapping through right. the district, and they had their own tablet-based mapping system that they paid big money for from somebody else. Yep. And so we have a pretty talented computer guy in Kwame Gold who mm -hmm. said, hey, I think we can do that ourselves. And so he's programmed this, put all of our mapping data on it, has a GPS in it, yep. and basically all of our information, including information that's collected yesterday, mm -hmm. it's, it's here and available. And so you come out in the field and zoom into, here's all the samples, the nice wow. red dots that ran. You now we can upload maps from yep. the trenches and use this to explore just here and then zoom back out yep. for the bigger picture. Let's talk about the uh, mining environment in the Yukon in the last few years. Obviously, the social license to get a mine permitted these days is tougher than ever. What's it been like up here? Uh, just in general, the Yukon over the last decade is one of the top ranked jurisdictions in the world, especially with the discovery of the coffee deposit and before then underworld. There's been an influx of capital from the world's major mining companies and they're all floating around. Mm -hmm. Um, the Yukon government has been responsive to that and they support mining uh, initiatives and in point of fact they've got a Canada-Yukon partnership to put $360 million worth of upgrades into mining roads including the one we're on and all of the roads that are within our property. So the government maintains this road? Yes. And the First Nations in particular, there's two, the Trondek Witchin have approved two different mining projects in their territory, which is our territory. And one of them is coffee, just the other year, the last year. And a third, Victoria Gold, that's Nachanayak Dunn, is another you know, First Nation. They've approved that project. So there is a path to development. They're not against it. You have to go negotiate. So if, as and when, we discover something and we get a mine plan together, there is a path. Our time in the Yukon has been too short. The midnight sun is real and provides light for the drillers and explorers of Klondike Gold.